Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is um, What If Deku is a Superior Seed. I'm going to go into a brief explanation uh, before you know we get into this to the story itself. So, how a... Um, this is my second um, Seed Deku that I have created. My first Seed Deku, the original idea of it, it came from my Guardian T Deku. Now, um, guys who haven't, you know, people, sorry, for which one of you haven't checked out my community tab recently, I explain, you know, a little bit about them. I'm, I'm going to go into the, you know, uh, I'll, I'll explain it again on here because I knew I was going to have to anyway, so, you know, it's all good. But let's get down to it. Um, Let's see. how Where would I start? Okay. Now, not anyone can become a seed. You have to be born corkless for order this to work. Now, um, now the person I'm uh, I'll probably be naming Silver, just because it's an easier it is it is an easy name and her. Yeah, just the way she looks. Now, anyways, let's get into it. Now, she uses um nanobites. into the cork chain so as it does its process of rebuilding the part of the you know cork chain that corkless people have as it reforms to it you know repairs it as it does some things that <laughs> yeah it's not going to be she's um all for one's daughter so she's not gonna be nice about a lot of things so how the process works for a normal seed as once she uh, once you go through the process you're going to be you're going to be completely loyal to to um to silver you know, um dr silver or professor silver nonetheless you'll be totally loyal to her as they always refer to silver as mother That's how the whole the seeds work, and um, she could get away with this because she's only taking the corkless people, orphanage. And they really don't care, I and mean, they're most likely glad to get rid of the, all all the corkless people. I mean, it's a lot of people would look uh look the other way. Give me a second, guys. What the, I said, oh, and before I, you know, before I, before I, oh, sorry, before I forget, this is going to be a DC and a Hero Academia world combined into one, um, one universe. So there's going to be, um, good portion is going to be in Gotham City. So look forward to that. Oh yeah, I forgot, totally forgot about, um, four seeds. They do have powers and it's always... The color is always the same. They're always silver, like silver fire, silver ice. Seeds are far more um, better than normal humans when it comes to strength, endurance. The density you need a lot. They're a lot more tougher. So they've been enhanced with all their senses. So that's pretty much what they're down to. And they're also, sorry, in every seed, except for the su superior seed, is able to have a, um, create a, I'm uh, sorry, summon a seed summon. Now the seed summons are a um, sentient, sentient um, cork, basically what it is. When it comes down to it, the seed summon is a sentient summon they're able to summon. It has its own personality set, and it changes from person to person. It, it, it varies, but they're always the same thing. They're always um, basically killer robots of animals, basically. A few of them would have like a hawk, a robot, a hawk that you're able to summon, and it even... It, it will even um, summon itself if you're in danger. They're extremely loyal to, you know, the summoner. 
because if they die, then if someone dies as well, it's a, yeah, you're strictly um, connected to the summons. So that's pretty much the only weak point, really, of a um, seed that you can you can exploit is go after their seed summon. They feel the summon's pain. They're connected. So yeah, you gotta watch out for that though. As we start our story off, as you see all for one in his little chair, hooked up to his machines, as a portal opens up in the middle of the room. As you have Silver walks in. Father. I got it. It finally makes sense. As she gives out a up of, of the project. It's in the file. This is this would work a lot more better than those normal creatures from Dr. Ojiko. Dr. Ojiko's smart, but he's a little extreme. You know, the things are abominations. Me and the good old doctor have different goals. I want the betterment of he, he, uh, humankind. He wants to turn him into some sort of freak show. You know, sweetheart, there's no bad, bad mouth in the doctor. You know, he's been, he's been with us for a long time. Whatever, father, what do you think? These are quite impressive, but this is not what we, this, the Nomu Project is a far more better suit for what I need to be done. Father, the Seed Project is far more superior. As Kirigiri is about to step in, young Miss, as he's, as immediately there's a wall of silver fire blocking him, his path. Don't touch me, you damn disgusting abomination. You're not a person, so I suggest you stand still, shut up until you're told otherwise. As all for one, his eyes, you know, he's surprised. Daughter, what did you do? You were corkless. Exactly, father, not anymore. What do you think I was going to... Um, I would make sure I would be the first seed that I create. Mark my words, Father. I will show you that the seed project is far more superior than those Nomu things. I'm ready to leave. I'll be leaving the country. Then when I come back to Japan, I will, sh I will show you my results. If you're lucky, you might have a sneak peek. Maybe. After all, I still have work to do. The superior seed must begin soon. As all for one's like, what did that girl mean by superior seed? What is my daughter planning? As he's taking his daughter very serious because her, her oh, I'm sorry, all for one's daughter is not, she, she doesn't mince words. When she says something she's going to do, she's going to do it. She's highly intelligent. As she's pretty much a super genius. And her field of expertise is genetics. As Miss Silver leaves the as Kirigiri opens the portal, as it's outside, as Silver just walks off, doesn't even say bye to Kirigiri because he's a Nomu and she despises him. As it's a pretty much, um, she finds him abominations and, um, yeah, her dad spent a lot of time on his Nomu project and she didn't like that, so... She respects his, uh, she respects um, Dr. Ojiko, but she'll kill him if she has a chance. She does need to excuse. If he tries to stop her on her, um, um, if Dr. Ujiko tries to stop her for 
her um, goal to improve the human race, then she'll take him out no problem. She'll even take out her dad if if he's in her way. And she signs all the paperwork as she buys a ticket to um, the U.S. Gotham, of all places. Uh, she believes that's the best place to set up under the radar. As she's still labeled as corkless, as there, no one's going to pay attention to a corkless girl, a corkless woman. But she's nowhere near powerless. As if she was going to go through the, if she, if she was going to put people through the seed project, she would at least make sure she was the first one to see if it, if it actually works. Now she finally landed on, um, in Gotham City. As she, 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 she already had, um, things arranged for her before she even hit the city. Before she went in, even into the country. And she has a nice setup. As she has a um, a dummy a dummy company up in the setting already. Waiting for her to stop uh, to um, start her first job as you know head of a company that disappeared out, appeared out of nowhere. As it deals with genetics. In genetic research, sorry, <coughs> and money always flowing towards her, so she's never, yeah, she doesn't have to worry about money, as she uses um the the dummy company to to officially start her seed project. As she went around the world, um, collecting um corkless children in orphanages. As that's the most likely place without someone asking questions. As she, over the years, she adopted quite a bit of them, put them through the the seed process. As they would all have, you know, a similar look to um, silver. As they would have their eye colors would change. To purple. And their hair color would change to silver. As that's a, you uh, know, pretty much a trait of the seeds. Not including, you know, the silver effects of their corks. Depending on what type of cork it is. But majority of them will be silverish, like, in in one way or, or, uh, or another. It's a dummy company that it's from Japan that they have a branch in America. It's, yeah, I'll, Miss Silver over here, you know, grease the right prom, um, palms, talk to the right people, threaten some people, kill uh, people's um, loved ones, and she got what she wanted. So she's good on 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 her end. It's going to take a lot of digging to uh, to get any any sorts of um, intel on her as yeah she, she had a fake background made so if you're not looking for it you'll assume it's a a legit it's a, le a, a legit on um, paper trail and a data trail of course it's not total foolproof someone like Batman could figure it out eventually so yeah She's been keeping quiet over the years as she's just been gathering her children, the seeds, as she finally, you know, begins Project um, Superior Seed, you know, the Superior um, Seed Project. As eventually, um, Bruce caught on to her little game that she's been playing as she saw reports of Miss Silver adopting several children from the orphanage as he saw something fishy about that as he looked into the uh, looked in, looked into the um, to the company and found out it's a dummy company. He found quite a bit about it. 
as, let's see, and all the seeds are, sorry, I'm going to get this out of the way before, before we get into the story. Back into the story, at least. Um, Miss Silver is mentally connected to all the seeds. She's pretty much the seed mother. So let's, let's get into the story. As Batman sneaks in through the vigilant on the, the vents, the vigilant ah, I can't even pronounce that right at the moment, but you know what I mean, the vent, the vent system, let's go with that, as he, Batman go through the vent system, as he jumps down, as the room's empty, as he goes through the main hallway, as he get into, you know, a, a big door, As Batman gets behind a woman as she's staring at the window. When he finally gets into the main room down the hallway. Hello, Bruce. As Batman jumps back. Don't worry. I have no intention of, you know, revealing your secret identity. You Americans don't know how to proper, um, to proper to, um, cover your tracks. You were lazy. Whatever you're doing here, Miss Silver, it stops now. I'm bringing you in. Bringing in on me on what exactly? Batman. As she's saying this, while she's facing against the window, you have no proof, no solid evidence, at least. Nothing that a court would actually take. After all, you're not technically a, a um, officer of the law, so you can't... Yeah, you can't do shit to me, Batman. But for me, it's a little different. After all, you broke into my private property. And even if you had someone legit look into my company... Let's just say they wouldn't live long. After all, father doesn't like people butting into his family matters. You understand. You're not our first guest today, <laughs> Mr. Bat. As she snapped her fingers, as a monitor comes down off the wall, as it turns out, as it's a, a picture of Robin. As he's handcuffed to, you know, a chair. As Batman looks at, um, Silver angrily. You know, he's angry now. Don't worry, Mr. Bats. Your child, your soldier, he's fine for now. I suggest you leave and my children will let him go. If not, then I'm going to have to fortunately use... Undire, um, undesirable methods, Mr. Bat. As Batman throws a battering at, um, Miss Silver. And Miss Silver catches it in, in midair. Huh. As she throws it back, cutting, um, Batman's cheek as it gets flung into a wall. Here. As she tosses him a data pad, as Batman, that's where his location on. Children, if Batman hasn't come and retrieved his, the little bird, you have my authority to kill him in, let's say, if he doesn't show up out in 30 minutes, kill the boy. Yes, mother. I suggest you get moving, Bats. Time's not on your side. As Batman, this is not over. I bet it's not, Mr. Bats. But I win this time. Toodles. As Batman is forced to leave, as Miss Silver has a smile on her face. As immediately, she begins the process of moving locations. As she transports, you know, everything important into a moving truck. 
she's moving um she's changing locations for um for Izuku as Izuku's in a some sort of tube that's um in a metal container like a metal box it's pretty big as she has it in a moving truck as she goes to a um safe house where she, her um where more of her delicate um, research goes on. About time Batman got to save Robin. There was no trace of the seeds. They um, seemed to vanish out of thin air. As uh, Robin was knocked out. So he didn't know what the heck happened after that. After he got captured. In this story, um, Silver runs the League of Villains. She runs the American branch. So, yeah, she has a lot of say and go. And, yeah, she's a big player that's unknown to everyone. Except for Batman. Ba of course, Batman would figure it out that, yeah, the girl's dangerous. This is the only branch of the League of Villains that no moves are not allowed. She forbids no moves. In America, period. She doesn't like him, and she's the one nowhere near him, near near her. <coughs> only branch of the you know, it's pretty much the only branch that has a uh, no no move policy. As it's runs, uh, the League of Villains is run by the Seeds. But this branch of the League of Villains, they don't have the same goal as all for one. And this is her own little. That's this is this is her own little territory, a gift from her father to get her away from Doctor Ojiko because, yeah, they can't be in the same room without someone arguing. So yeah, all for one, just give it to her just to get her away for a while, to have you know her little project whatever she had planned. He is interested in a byproduct of it, but he'll wait until she shows him proof that. How superior her seeds are. She couldn't easily prove it herself, but she wants to prove it a lot more. She has a certain way she wants to do things. And Izuku is going to be her, um, pretty much her masterpiece. As he's a superior summon, so he doesn't have a, um, a superior seed, so he doesn't have a summon. All that power has to go somewhere, and he's. There's a reason why he's um, been identified as Superior Seed. He's still not on the level of... Well, we'll, we'll get into that on, on, on another point, on another time. As you have Miss Silver in her office at the League of... One of the League of Villain bases that she's in, in Gotham City. As few of the Seeds rush in. Mother, um, we're being under attack. By who? Um, I believe uh, one of the it's a group of the two faced men. <sighs> Petty mafia. I guess I'm gonna have to eradicate them all. It was unfortunate, but unavoidable. Alright, children, get ready. We're gonna teach these. Unfortunate souls that you don't mess with seeds. Leave no survivors. Yes, mother. Remember, children, no powers. Firearms only. As or physical conflict. But and, but outside of that, anything goes. As she gives orders to her children. As the little battle went on for a couple minutes as Miss Silver Seeds slaughter Two-Face's goons like there were nothing. As you have the, the little lieutenant of Two-Face's men. As he's in the middle, middle of the street. As Miss Silver walks out wearing a mask and everything. Have her own, you know, identity. Make sure, you know, it's, that's not compromised. As Miss Silver walks up to 
to this little maggot that's on his knees as he's swearing at 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 her as saying two face is gonna kill you bitch as you know he's not very nice about it as Miss Silver just backhands him. If you're gonna kill me, get it over with, bitch. As Miss Silver gets down to his eye level. Oh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to do far worse than that. I'm going to send your little boss, your master, a little message. You don't know who the fuck you just messed with, little, little boy. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Or I would go over there and wipe you and your master out. But I'm in, but I'm in a cheerful mood. Tell your little boss, if he dares this again, I'll come over to his territory and kill him myself. I said you run along and pick up whoever's left alive. Get out of my territory. Children, make sure you direct him outside of our territory. If he tries anything funny, kill him on the spot. Yes, mother. As they direct him, put on his way as he gives the message to, you know, two faces. Two faces not going to listen to that. He's going to try to attack again and that's not going to end well for him. As summer weeks has passed as the attacks start up again. As several of her children walk in. I know. Full while who it is. I was hoping I didn't have to release him at this certain point. But there is no other way around it. As as she goes into her um, basement laboratory. As we go to Ezekiel in the test tube still. As she made Ezekiel out of her own DNA. And some DNA she's able to got acquire from. From sh four, sorry, from some shady people. As Ezekiel is created by using different, different types of genetics. Material to make Ezekiel as Ezekiel is like artificial created um seed, a superior seed. As you have a little boy in a um test tube, as Silver activates the process of releasing releasing Ezekiel, as the water slowly drains. As the boy opened his eyes. As he has a blank expression. As she tells. um, As she's like. She walks up to Izuku. And she puts her hand on his cheek. From day on. You are Izuku. As he tilts his head. As. He, he's. He's in. Confused. What is Izuku? That's your designation. Understood, ma'am. As he jumps off, as he starts to float down slowly. As he starts to float on his feet. As he lands. Orders m mother. There's a man. As she passes him a picture of Two-Face. I want you to locate this man and kill him. And kill any one of his men. That you come across. He insulted your... He insulted me very harshly. And he must be punished. Understood. Good mother. I will... Erase the dick... The dick comfort from you. He's pretty much, he's still freshly born, so he has, he has plenty of um, brains to have a decent conversation, even the age of six, as he's a lot more intelligent than Canon and Izuki, of course, but powerful at least, as a portal opens up in front of Izuki as he steps through it. As he's outside of the, uh, he's on top of a, one of the skyscrapers, 
in Gotham. As you see him hovering in the air a little bit. Where is Mr. Two-Face at? Mother wants him dead. I must not disappoint Mother. Two-Face is back in his mansion. I'm thinking he, you know, that will finally wipe her out of the way, out of the area where he could take over. As he's just smoking in his office, thinking his job is done. As you have Ezekiel, as he's hovering above his mansion. After um, interrogating a few of his men, Ezekiel got his um, his answers after he killed them all, of course. His creator said to wipe them out, and that's what he's going to do. As Two-Face is staring out the window, as he sees a little boy, as Izuku, as the window blows up, shattering all the um glass everywhere, as Izuku just floats over there casually. As he repairs, as he... All of the window pieces start to form back into the window as it reforms into its natural state before it was destroyed. As, as Two-Face looks at this little boy. What the hell are you, kid? What are you here for? Simple, Mr. Two-Face. You made Mother mad, so I'm going to have to kill you. My apologies. As Izuku made a portal inside of Two Face's um, body, as a portal, a smaller portal opens up uh, above Izuku's hand. As he has his hand in a motion, um, a, a position, waiting for it to catch something. As it's all for one, not all for, sorry. As it's, um, yeah, it's Two Face's heart as it's pumping in and out. In and out as it slowly, as Two Faces sees his heart, and as he's you know stumbling down trying to reach out for it, as he's just hovering in the air with the heart hovering above his hand a little bit. As Izuku uses his energy, as the heart starts to glow bright green color, as it turns to ash, as it falls to the ground right in front of um, Two Face. You should have listened, human. As he points his finger, as he shoots a beam strictly in um, Two Face's head. You would have lived longer if you didn't upset Mother. As he floats up, as Izuku um, contacts his mother through the psychic link, Mother, it's done. Return to, uh, return home, superior. Understood, mother. As he opens a portal, as he walks through it, as the portal opens up in the middle of the room, as several seeds, that surprises, that surprised the rest of the seeds. The seeds don't know about Izuku. As they're all in the fighting stance, children, calm down. This is your, this is your new little brother, superior. Be nice to Izuku. He is your superior. Given why his name is superior. He's a superior seed. He is my second in command if anything ever happens to me. Understood? Yes, mother. Izuku turns to his mother. What do you mean by superior, mother? That means you're special, my boy. You're very special. I love all my seeds, like my own children. But you are special. You were designed to be the head seed. But I don't want to take your place, mother. Don't, don't worry. You don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to be, um, I'm not going to dis, I'm not going to be gone. Not for a while. Later that night, Batman and Robin did come to um, 
the scene of Two Face as Batman found out that you know how the war was um with the League of Villains. That's all he got. That's all he he was able to get out of a um passing thug. Not part of the League of Villains, but they some villains know of um some under low lives know of of the League of Villains. At least the one in America branch. Um, Izumi is not as stealthy as all for one. But yeah, you really have to look to find the location and the name and all that stuff. Batman, you know, with prep time and time in, in to investigate, he could easily find the League of Villains. If you place him in Japan, I could tell, I could guarantee he could probably find the League of Villains headquarters maybe in a week's time. If that. And Batman, when he wants something, he'll find it. I mean, this is how Batman goes. That That's just how his character is built. So, enough about, you know, my Batman theories and shit. But, yeah, let's get on to the what if. Miss Silver uses her excuse of being away for so long. Was she gave birth to a son, Izuku. As, yeah, the head of the company that does genetics has, they announced that, you know, she has an heir for the company in case, you know, she would ever have to step down or if she was killed or forcibly removed, but that will never happen. Izuki was created with all sorts of different abilities. This is Miss Silver gene splicing the way she did to make Izuku. Yeah, he has a pretty good power set. You have um, Izuku hovers into his mother's office. And she's like, please sit, Izuku. As Izuku sits. Yes, Mom? Take a look at this. As it's pictures of Batman and all that. So, so valiant. As sending you after the Batman. Superior. Is this a kill order, Mom? No, not a kill order. Don't kill the Batman. I just want you to attack him. Try try to defeat him. But you are forbidden to kill him. Understood? Yes, Mother. Why? This is a test. Probably wondering why you're being tested, not the others. Because I expect more out of you, Izuku. Unlike them, you're not my blood. Yes, um, your process of being born wasn't the normal way. But nevertheless, you are still my blood, my son. And so far, I must groom you a certain way. And so far, there will be tests. This won't be the first or the last. But this will be the most easiest test I would think you would have. I want you to study all the footage we have of him and all the intel. Do not underestimate the Batman. He's um, smart, resourceful. Understood, Mother. As he um, teleports away. As... Upper's way as he grabbed the documents before he left. As he goes back to his room, yeah, as as um Silver yells at him to walk next time, as Izuku hears that in his um room. As he you know Well actually she just, you know, yelled at him in in, in his mind to walk next time as Izuku, you know, apologize. As he went back to his room to to study up on the Batman as he had the uh, she had a flash drive as he put it, the, let's say a USB port, as he plugs it into his laptop as he does some study on the on Batman. All his past battles, his achievements, his defeats, his enemies, his people that he's close to. And, he's, and Izuku does know of Batman being Bruce because... 
His mother gave him everything she had on him. Since the human doesn't have any special abilities, outside of a large amount of money, In human's terms, he's a rich bag. Interesting. Let's see. He does have allies, little children. Are you sure? Mother might be wrong. He doesn't seem like a hero. It doesn't seem the normal hero trope that mother would always yammer about. Matters not. Mother wants me to defeat this Batman, and Mother will get it. It would be a lot easier if I could kill him, but Mother forbid all lethal blows, so I'm going to have to get creative in this one. This is actually my second time out. This will be illuminating. Now, how the best way to approach this? It would be extremely difficult to try to find his location outside of his mansion. That would be too obvious. Let's see. He does have allies, so I might want to target one of them. The one with the red mask, he seems a little... too, um, shoot now and ask question later. He would be a pain to deal with. I'll pass on that one. One called Nightwing. One of his old associates. He's a possibility. Then there's um, Batwoman. She's not currently in the city. So that's a no-go. Don't know where she's at at the current moment. I don't have time to try to search for her. Batgirl. Barbara Gordon. That's the best bet. She's... Ever since the incident where she, um... Had her spine broken. According to the reports. By a villain called... The Joker. That's a... Funny name. Nevertheless, that's not important. I have her location... She's the most easiest person to to acquire. I highly doubt there'll be much fight being bound to a wheelchair and all. I guess I'll start there. I need to observe her behavior first before I make any rash decisions. Zizek, you spends the next couple days observing Barbara's in and outs as her father would always out of out of the week, maybe like three times out of the week, Gordon would visit his daughter, Barbara. As he would notice, you know, Nightwing, Dick would um visit Barbara because they're dating at this point. That's when when Izuku finally finally to uh to finally act. As the night wings over, you know, hanging out with Barbara. Talking about future plans. As he's trying to convince her some, um, some surgeries uh, to fix her spine. To um, have her walk. As they're discussing it, as uh, Isuka just appears in the middle of the room. As that took, that took Dick by surprise. There she is. You, I do not need. As Izuku, um, force Nightwing in a, some sort of energy, um, force field. As he's banging onto it, as he's trying to yell. Trying to get out. Struggle all you want, human. You, you cannot break free of that. You have no special abilities. You're helpless. Now sit tight while I talk to the this um Miss Barbara. My apologies, Miss Barbara, but I'll be taking you. 
don't worry, I have no ill will towards you. So you, you over there, you calm down. I simply need to get to Bruce's attention. That is all. I'm using you to request a little fight between me and your boss, I guess. Don't know how you guys work, really. You humans are very weird creatures. Dick, it's all right. I'll go with them. As, you know, Dick's like, what are you doing? As, you know, this, she, she's giving him the look that trusts her. The trust her look as, you know, he calms down. As he finds, fine. As he's contact, he's contacting, you know, Batman. As Ezekiel caught on to that, but he, he saves him the trouble trying to call him. I know you're contacting the Batman as we speak, Nightwing. No matter. I plan to call him anyways to tell him the location where we're going. As he touches Barbara, chair, wheelchair, as they disappear. As he's not bothering with the portals at the moment, they're mostly used for attacking. He can portal it if, if he wants to, but he likes teleporting. It's a lot more fun. Barbara opens her eyes as she sees that she's in a, um, kind of like a, it's definitely a, um, empty warehouse, but it's, it's furnished as it, it looks like an actual, you know, apartment, like a big, huge apartment. Scratch that as, let's say there is a house inside the warehouse. In the middle of the house, in the middle of the warehouse, as there's a house, as Barbara is confused, as she, um, he rolls her over there, as there is, um, yeah, it's, um, will, uh, act, there's a ramp up there, so he could rule her up into the house, and she sits her into the room, I'll be right back, Miss Barbara, I'll be, you must be thirsty, at least. As he makes up in the drink, as he gives it to Barbara, as, what are you after? Um, what's your name? Superior. Where's your mother? Shouldn't you be asleep? Negative, Miss Barbara. My mother, my mother wanted me to, my mother ordered me here to do this. As she's like, why would she do that? Because it's a test. Don't worry, I have no plans of trying to kill Mr. Bruce. But me and him do have to fight. It is, it is required of me. I do not want to, but you don't... You do what Mother asks. You don't disobey her. Barbara and, um... Izuku, as she's talking to him, as she's trying to be social with him, and she's trying to figure out what's his, you know, how he ticks. Like, he's just a little kid, as she's still thinking that, as she's thinking his mother figure is, um, manipulating the young man. As Nightwing, you know, he finally tracked down Izuku, as Izuku wasn't, um, trying to be. Try, trying to be sneaky about it. He gave he gave Batman signs. As he traveled all around the city. Izuku had um, several things planted in several gardens all around. Um, all around Gotham. As each um, clue he unravels. The closer he gets to the, lo to the location. To the, I'm sorry. Until closer he gets to the identity of the location. Izuku playing his little mind games, but he's still a child. So he's not going to be, you know, vicious about it. It's just a little, little, little game as Batman's getting irritated because this is something that Igma would pull off. Just some, some ravages game that is pretty much pointless. It's just, Izuku just wants to 
test his um, intelligence. Each um, of a clue is a um, hollow silver seed about the size of a um, little bigger than a baseball. About the size of a, well, about, about the length of a softball, height wise, as a letter each that's inside the seed is a um, a picture of a uh, a colored letter or number. It depends on where the address is of of this of this warehouse. As Batman finally gets to the last one, as. He finally got the location as he, you know, immediately got into the Batmobile drive all the way to Izuku's little location that he has set up for um, Batman. As Izuku and Barbara are drinking, he's drinking tea with Barbara. As this Izuku likes tea. He likes drinking his tea and talking. That's just how he likes doing stuff. He's not arrogant. He's calm and collective. Kind of scary how calm and collected he is. That rubs Barbara like that weirds her out. As she's starting to understand this kid's like this little kid's not normal. Like there's something about him that's off. As Batman and Nightwing bust in. As he sees Barbara and Izuku sitting drinking tea. As they're laughing. Well she's laughing. As Barbara's oh hi um Batman. As she, she waves. Welcome, Mr. Bruce. Please, sit down. As Nightwing's like, we're not sitting down anywhere. I said sit down. It wasn't a request. As Izuku, um, as Batman and um, Nightwing lift up in the air, as Izuku forced them to sit down using his telekinesis powers. My apologies. My apologies, Mr. Bruce. Of taking your friend and having you um, go through my little game. Um, and judging why you're, by your presence here that you completed my game. You completed it quite f fast. Mother is right. I should not underestimate you. How do you know who I am? You've... Well, my mother told me. And who is your mother? Well, you know her very well, Mr. Bruce. After all, you did, um, broke into her, um, her building a couple years ago. I believe you call my mother, um, Miss Silver. Well, most people call my mother outside of the family. And the reason why you took Barbara Kid? Simple. My mother came here to have me challenge you, of course. No harm it came from Barbara. I sh As Barbara's like, yeah, Bruce, um, he's been very nice to me. I mean, Bruce, you can't be serious fighting a kid. I don't think we have a choice, Nightwing. Let's get this done. I'll go easy on the kid. He doesn't look very physical. He looks about 60 years old. <sighs> as Batman's not liking this, as he sighs, as Batman gets into a, um, as Batman and um, Izuku get into a, um, outside the house. As they're in the factory, as Barbara, you know, Nightwing wheels Barbara out, outside the porch. As they're watching this little battle, Izuku places something in the middle of the, um, in the middle of the area where they're supposed to be fighting. As a device starts making a hologram. As it's a, um, it's a war game. As Batman, what's this? I'm supposed to challenge you. Mother didn't want me to hurt you. Couldn't kill you, so I'm guessing my mother wants me to... Work on my strategy. That's most likely what she's planning. Mother always... Everything my mother does is always has a purpose. Please. I'll tell you the rules. 
as soon as you could go through the rules, you have your units, your um, soldiers. And it's pretty much, um, what's the game? Um, basically a holographic projection of a war game. As Ezekiel likes playing his war game as he's just using it using that as an excuse to play games pretty much. As Barbara starts laughing because literally she got as I can't believe I got kidnapped for a little kid to play a video game with with Bruce. This is adorable. As she's a lot more shy as she didn't want you know get easy to get hurt. After a grueling um, four or five hours of of this game, as as all Izuku sees is loss, as a big wind sign appears over um, Batman's um, area of his um, army. As Izuku, I lost, but I never lose. As he's never lost in, in this game. He's played all the seeds, and he's always won. Even he won against his mother. But he lost. Izuku disappears and appears right in front of um, Batman's face. As he has his um, glowing green eye looking strictly at, at, at Batman. What are you? You can't be simply human. It doesn't add up. Again, as Batman's like, what? Again, play again. <sighs> Fine, kid. One more time. As you think, you know, as Batman sees almost a smile, as he disappears, as he reappears in front of the monitor or the um, holographic monitor, as they go through the game again. After another f five grueling hours, as Izuku lost again. How do I keep? As Izuku ponders this. As Izuku went back in his memory to figure out what he did wrong. As he noticed he's um left a, a part of his um the way he he positioned his army, he left it wide open for um for Batman to exploit. It was a very small opening, but that was enough for him to um to exploit and to conquer his army. As Izuku's um as um Silver contacts Izuku. What have you learned? Um I have no idea, mother. Think on it, Izuku. What have you learned today? It doesn't matter how smart you are. As uh, if you're fighting against an opponent that has more experience. And that goes by in battle as well, Izuku. That's what I wanted to teach you today. And Batman was the best tutor for this little test. Mother, I would like to, I would like to play against him again. Very well. I don't mind, but do not let it interrupt into your normal duties. Understood, Mom. As but as um, everyone's waiting for Izuku was talking while um, Batman was talking to Barbara for a minute, just to make sure she's all right. As the machine, as the machine deactivates, as Izuku picks it up, but isn't in pocket. As they're discussing how they're going to get Barbara back, as Izuku's like, I could return Miss Barbara to her uh, uh, lodgings. It's in, it's in my abilities to, to do that easily. As Batman, you know, tagged along, as he's curious about the boy now. As he's seen him demonstrate some, you know, some abilities... Already, as he hasn't seen any of his attack abilities, but he's seen some of his abilities already. He, uh, Batman knows he has telekinesis. 
and some sort of portal ability, teleportation ability. As Batman doesn't know about his portals or his other unique skills that he has. As he's like he portals everyone into um, Barbara's apartment. This is where I take my leave, I guess. As Barbara, you know, watches onto Izuku's shoulder. As Izuku looks at um, Barbara. Now. No more kidnapping people. Okay. Very well. Understood, Miss Barbara. I will not. No. Um, Miss Barbara is too formal. Just call me Barbara. Okay. Um, Barbara. As Izuku disappears. Izuku reappears in the, in the middle of the sky as Izuku grabs into his coat as he picks up the, the tracer that Batman placed on him as he has it uh, float in the air as he crushes it with, with telekinesis as he fries it the remains pointing his two fingers at it as a um, bright green beam shoots out vaporizing it as Izuku <laughs> nice try Batman it won't be that easy. As he portals back to his mother. As we're going to stop it there. Hope you guys have a good night and day. Judge by time sounds alright. Catch you in the next video.